One question in particular that I, I, I really do want to answer specifically was, what do we say to our friends and neighbors who have questions about Kamala Harris's record on Israel? Because I can speak to this personally. I think it was mentioned in the intro. I was her national security advisor in the Senate. I traveled to Israel with Kamala Harris. I know for a fact, because I saw it firsthand, her commitment to Israel's security, its right to self-defense, her commitment to the U.S.-Israel relationship is ironclad. This was before she entered this White House. And under this White House, which has gone to great lengths, not only to unequivocally condemn the horror that we saw on October 7th, but to stand with Israel in the aftermath of this attack. She has demanded the release of the hostages. She has been a part of this administration's efforts to provide $14.3 billion in additional aid to Israel to ensure that it has everything that it needs to defend itself, to deploy U.S. military assets three times since October 7th in the aftermath into the Red Sea on, a, on April 13th when we saw an unprecedented attack from Iran on Israel. And most recently in August, this administration, President Biden and Vice President Harris deployed the U.S. military to ensure Israel had the ability to defend itself and also to aid in Israel's defense. So this administration and Vice President Harris have stood with Israel. And she has said repeatedly, including on the debate stage and the stage that we all saw her on in Chicago, about her staunch commitment to these issues, there is no question in my mind, it should be no question in anyone else's mind where she stands on these issues. We also have talking points for when you speak to your friends, your neighbors, your voters. We are all surrogates. So please do this work with us in the next 41 days. 